Services listings. Did you know that one in every five searches is a local search? So now, I was looking the other day, there's about 400 million searches a day worldwide on Google. So that means 80 million searches a day are local. So that's a lot that are focused on local business alone. 1.3 billion people worldwide can access the internet on their mobile phones. However, only less than 1% of .com.net.org sites are mobile friendly. Now that's the same also for .com.au, .net.au and .org.au. In Australia, it's, um, we're still not able to get .org.au um, sites. Hopefully that will change. Um, so this is where you come in. Okay, so what can you do? You can update or create a local listing to include a website URL and also add local citations and reviews. And I'm going to show you how you can do this. And you can also make sure that the website URL is mobile friendly. It's so simple to implement and you're going to look like an absolute superhero when you do this. So again, with the, local, um, with the Google Places and the mobile friendly, they go hand in hand. So it's something that you can offer a client together. Just some figures on, um, I was looking the other day on smartphones. Because you hear all these opinions about smartphones, you know, some people are like, oh no, they're not going to, they're not big. Other people are like, oh, they're absolutely taken over the world. Well, I tend to agree with the latter. 43% of online Australians now own a smartphone. And 73% of smartphone users use the phone to search on the internet. That's up 30% from last year. So more and more people are using their phones to search on the internet. I do. I, like I, you know, I work in the industry and yet when I'm out and about, I'm always using my phone to look up things on Google. 75% of them browse 30 minutes you know, daily. That's a good chunk of time. And then about 13% are about 60 to 90 minutes daily. So again, people, the, the stats are there. People are using their mobile phones, their smartphones to get online. And also, this is interesting because this isn't the case worldwide, but in Australia, um, iPhone, iPhone's a huge player globally, but in Australia, it's phenomenally huge. 89% market share in Australia. And also, um, just recently, iPhone or um, iTunes released the Google Places app. So it's becoming more and more important. In fact, Nielsen made a comment that businesses must develop mobile websites to keep up with the whole smartphone usage. So it's becoming a must for small businesses. This is, again, can you see how this is a really real opportunity for small businesses? Less than 1% have mobile friendly, and yet 89% share of, you know, people have, um, well, 89% are iPhones here, and there's that huge share, 43% are smartphones. Now, again, I want to talk about this whole offline consulting. And I want to say again, this is not a get-rich-quick scheme. This is something very, very real and sustainable. There is genuine opportunity that exists. Another thing that um, people say to me is, oh, but you know, you're telling me that this is the latest thing. Are there other people out there um, doing it? Will there be business for me? Now, in Australia alone, there is over 2 million small businesses. Now, let's say everybody had 10 clients. There is not more than 200, you know, there's not 200,000 local consultants. There's absolutely nothing near that. This is a really real opportunity. And again, working smart rather than hard. So some of the key elements that you need to adopt, and I'd say um, that this is true for any sort of consulting role, is really establish yourself through action, and you're going to be shown in action, that you're an expert. Even having a conversation with somebody. I've had so many people say to me, oh, yeah, I know all about that SEO. I said, oh, great. Okay, well, that's good. Well, what keywords are you targeting? Oh, I, I, I don't know. Uh, well, what's the page rank of your site? Um, you know, what, what sort of, how many backlinks do you have? Just even by knowing the terminology and asking from a genuine perspective, because I always take it if somebody tells me they know something, that they do know something. And yet by questioning them, it's like, I had somebody the other day and they go, oh, they said, oh, look, I don't need you, you know, to help us. Um, I understand all this SEO. And again, I was asking questions like this. And they said, oh, oh OK, you're the expert. Um, can I hire you? You know what you're talking about. So again, just understanding the terminology and what that means is going to hold you in really good stead. 
Also, it's really important to ask questions, find out what the business owner wants to accomplish, and then help the business owner achieve those goals. So what I'm going to show you is three steps, very easy. You're going to target the business owner who needs you and send them a video, offer to create a mobile-ready site and update and create the Google Places listing, and then request payment using a video. Now, in fact, you'll be requesting payment as you um, get the job, but I've split them out that way so you can see how easy each step is. Now, another thing is that this, I just want you to understand that this is a foundation that all small business clients must have to succeed online. This is how we're evolving. And you're